welcome and Merry Christmas. You are about to enter into a tour of our front parlor here at our 1900 farmhouse in Georgia. I went with very traditional colors this year, and I don't really think that I have anything new in this room, but I've just used favorite things in different places, maybe things you've never seen before on any of our previous tours, but I hope that you enjoy it. I hope you get some ideas, some inspiration, and if it's too late for that, if you've already decorated, just take it as a Merry Christmas Christmas card from our family to yours. When you first walk in our front door, we have a large antique bureau here, and sitting atop the bureau, we have the most important display, in my opinion, for our Christmas decorations, and that is the nativity. This is why we celebrate. Make no mistake, this is a celebration of the birth of our Savior, Jesus, and so we want this display to have prominence in this room for all who enter so that they will know without a doubt that this is why we're celebrating. On our large sofa here, I used a Waverly Country House Toile and some French Toile pillows. And just above those is one of my favorite oil paintings in our collection. We purchased this a few years back, and in my opinion, it is one of the best renderings of a snowy landscape. It is so realistic, and I think that the artist was so talented in how they portrayed the light on the snow. So I enjoy every year bringing that out for part of our decorations. And... It's only a wish for us to have snow here in Georgia on Christmas, so we might as well have a beautiful painting of it. But like I said, here are the toile prints that I paired together, a French Christmas toile, and then also this Waverly Country House toile that I purchased last year, paired with a plaid. I just have a fur throw thrown over this little antique ottoman. And just across is the antique sofa that we purchased this summer. I know that you've seen our industrial cart from the 1930s that houses our TV and the components. We tried to conceal those by putting books on the cabinet. My old stereoscope. And here on the end table, we featured my brass bell collection this year. I've been collecting bells for years now. But this year, we have a new little bell to add to our collection. The other night, my husband was going through some of his dad's things, and he came across this little tiny bell, and he had never even seen it before. So, of course, it went straight to the collection here on the end table. The green glass jar is filled with jingle bells. On this sofa, I paired the country house toile with a plaid that coordinated. And if you took my fall tour, you may recognize those pillows. They also matched my fall decor. Outside the window, you can see a very large light tree that we put out over our pond. It is so beautiful at night. It reflects on the water and gives a double image. And the stars are tobacco stick stars. And those tobacco sticks are from my daughter-in-law's family farm. Many, many, many years ago, they would hang tobacco leaves on those sticks in the tobacco barns to dry. Here on the other end table, you see a little display of some vintage paper mache choir boys. In front of them is a little saying that I wrote and stuck down into one of my antique frogs, Glory to God in the Highest, because I can just imagine these little choir boys singing on that special night when Christ was born. Just above them, I found this old red vintage bowl at a local thrift store, and I just thought it was pretty with the sunlight coming through to house my house plant. We found this huge handmade beaded ornament at a estate sale where I purchased my chandelier for my office. And here is a surprise that I had for you all. I've always had a vintage tree with vintage shiny bright ornaments and I do try to reflect all of the eras of the families who have lived in this home because it's been lived in since the early 1900s and of course a beautiful aluminum tree 
that my husband and I remember from our childhood and how we were just so fascinated with the color wheel that spun around and, and shone different colors on the beautiful silver branches and the glistening, shiny, bright ornaments, how the light just picked up the color was so fascinating to Todd and I both as we were children. And one year he went to visit his family in New York and he always goes antiquing and looks for surprises for me and he brought home this aluminum tree. And I have not used it here in the farmhouse since we've been living here. I've had my antique ornaments on a green tree. But this year we decided that we thought it would really be pretty in front of this window to use the aluminum tree and we went ahead and invested in the color wheel. So we've really been enjoying that. I have a simple berry garland with tiny lights. And here on these shelves, I just use things that I love. I find that as I decorate year after year, there are certain pieces that I always pull out and I gravitate toward them. And then there are also some pieces like this wire handmade horse that I just tied a ribbon around. My son Landon's marble collection gets the same little plaid ribbon, and these icicles are the original lead icicles. And the first time I went to New York to visit family with Todd, we tried to bring them home on the airplane, and we actually got stopped in security because they were lead. So we had to take everything out, and they had to, we had to convince them that these were a decoration, <laughs> a vintage decoration. So that's kind of a funny story that goes along with my little icicles. So I just keep those separate and display them because they're such a sweet memory and conversation piece. Over beside the hutch, I've just used several pieces that I love. I've had this red glistening candle stand for years, and this sleigh was from, I believe, a garage sale or a thrift store. The plaster antique angel, I don't really know what it was used for, but I just hung it here on the lamp. And to my forever seashell bowl, I just added some small green balls to give a little bit of color and a little bit of Christmas to the seashells because I am a beach-loving girl and the seashells stay no matter the season. Across from Todd's cozy recliner is my mama's table. It was one of the heirloom pieces that I chose from her house and on her table sits a beautiful large antique compote filled with red and gold ornaments an antique brass sleigh that I filled with peppermints, a little crystal candle stand, an angel that Todd gave me one year, and a beautiful stained glass uh, dish that I have one of my little ferns in. So this table is at the end of the large sofa and it serves as my reading light. Many times I sit here at night and I read my Christmas books during the season and I truly enjoy the cozy feel of this spot looking out over the pond at the Christmas tree lights and looking at the Edison bulbs hanging on the porch and by the way I plan on doing a tour of our front porch because it's really fixed up cute for Christmas and I want to share that with you all and if you did not see the video that I uploaded last night of my husband's beautiful gentleman's study, go and check that out too. Tomorrow, I plan on doing the tour of the kitchen, the dining room, and perhaps our bedroom. So I hope that you will join us, and I hope that you've enjoyed the tour and liked the vintage tree, and I just hope that this finds you happy and well and celebrating our Lord's birth. And I hope that you can join me in the future videos. And I will hopefully be able to share more beauty with you for the season and hopefully add to the joy of your holiday. And I hope that you will share a comment below to let me know what you think of the tour. And if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe.